What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. We're on MLB The Show, Diamond Dynasty. Listen, I just want to make this clear. Um, guys, just be sure to like the vid. 50 likes on the vid. We're giving away 10K. And he, just drop a comment, ask a question about the game, mark your questions, I'll answer. Listen, um, we're not going to be posting Madden anymore. I've came to the conclusion that MLB is my main thing to do. Uh, we're going to be posting two vids from here on out about on MLB, MLB in general, not even just the game. We're going to be doing a Mets um, a Mets talk because um, I'm a Mets fan. I want to talk about what we're going to do, what the Mets are going to do. And, guys, I'm not doing Madden anymore. I know some of you guys are upset, but I want to stick to uh, MLB and 2K. That was my original plan with uh, – that was my original plan with YouTube. So if you guys don't want to see me, um, you guys don't want to see MLB. I mean, I'm, I mean, you guys don't want to see Madden. You guys want to see Madden, but I'm gonna post only MLB. I'm sorry. My channel is strictly MLB. All my subs are from MLB and 2K. So we're gonna stick with MLB and 2K. I'm sorry, but listen, MLB is my passion. So um, let's get into this market vid. We're gonna talk about the market. I'm going to tell you guys what to do with your stubs, what to do right now. It's a little market talk. We got the raw star update coming. Um, we're going to we're gonna start streaming again because, bro, I honestly missed this game. I was playing Madden. I was grinding Madden for like three days, and I was like, yo, this isn't for me. I want to play MLB. My team's stacked. I got stubs. I love my fans. So we're going to stick to MLB. Just, guys, if you're, if you're hyped to see me play MLB a lot, just get ready, man. The, the ride is going to be... We're going to be playing MLB a lot, but then when 2K comes out, we're going to slow down the vids in MLB because, bro, 2K is... I just love 2K. I'm literally a top player in 2K. My, I'm not the best at MLB, but in 2K, it's different. I'm very good at uh, 2K. But anyways, let's get into the video. Um, we're going to talk about the market, like I said, and I just... Perfect. Let's talk about the market. You know, Bugs loves the market, so right now, the market is actually down a lot. That's what I'm noticing like it's like not too high it's kind of low so what i recommend um they are dropping the roster update which means they're probably gonna drop headliners but in my opinion i feel like they're gonna drop some juiced headliners we're not gonna know till thursday when they have that stream so right now what i recommend to do i feel like it's a good time to sell your team because i feel like friday something crazy is coming and I'm pretty sure next week is player of the month cards. So just to prepare for that, I would say what I usually do is sell my team and just keep my Nat team, which is like I have Joe Morgan. I, look at all these. These are all Nat players pretty much. And then I got Pete Alonzo. I'm never getting rid of that Pete Alonzo. You know I love Pete Alonzo. So yeah, so we're going to go over a bunch of prices and I'm going to tell you guys what to do and all that good stuff. So we got let's see so let's see let's check bob feller's prices i actually have him on my team where is he okay so he's 115k his price did rise about 10k since he has dropped and honestly i feel like they might drop another sig pack last time they dropped the sig pack they dropped another one on about thursday so stay tuned for that that's why i'm saying i feel like you should sell your cards now because if they drop anything you may see a giant market crash. It, it seems like these players have been too stabilized over the last couple weeks. Um, it seems like a big market crash is coming. I don't see a stub sale dropping for a while. It seems like everybody's price is the same. And I recommend selling um, all your players now before anything crazy happens and you lose a ton of stubs. So let's get into it. Let's look at some live series players because I just like looking at the live series players where I make most of my stubs. So right now... Um, wow, Arnado is 92k. Yelich is still doing good. All of these players are still doing good. I say Bellinger goes up even more. Mookie's playing his ass off. Okay, right here. Chris Sale, 36k is actually a good price to invest in. Um, if you could get him for 34, that'd be lit. I feel like he'll go up. It's Chris Sale. He's a strikeout machine. Um, definitely, definitely worth the buy. Um, DeGrom at 28k is not bad. Freeman. So the market is kind of down actually. Rendon's probably gonna get upgraded. He might go up. It's not a bad buy. Um, Lindor's gonna get upgraded. Not a bad buy for 47. If you get him for 47, nothing else. Um, I just want to show you guys what I invested in, what I bought uh, recently. So, okay, we did not get the Vado. We did not get this Jose Ramirez, and we did not sell our nearest. So, I actually want to show you what I invested in so far for this week. Um, let's see. So we invested in Tottenham Mercerados. 
Invested in Altuve. Inv invested in... You want to see how many Trey Turners we invested in? Look how many Trey Turners. We invested in a ton of Trey Turners. We invested in a Omar Vizquel, which I don't even recall doing. Let's just move the face cam because it's in the way. Here we are. We invested in... Um... We invested in a Pedroia, which I don't recall either. Chris Bryant. Um, let's check how much Pedroia is. I told you guys to pick him up. But I hope I didn't lose stubs. Okay, look at that. So we actually did invest well. The market did go up a little bit, but some players went down a little bit. But Pedroia was a good investment so far. I saw that huge price gap, and it was perfect. It worked out well. Um, let's also check Chris Bryant's price. Told you guys to invest in him. He's actually pretty freaking cheap right now. 14.9. We got him for what? What do we get? Do we lose stubs on him? Don't even tell me. Oh no, we sold him at 18. Uh, we bought Vizquel for actually really cheap. So that's a dub. We got a big dub off Omar Vizquel. Where is he? Is he a 90? He's a 98, right? Um, Omar Vizquel. Oh, 97. So he's 30k. So that's another um dub there. 4k profit off him. Let's see, let's see. So we have a ton of stubs. We sold the Kirby 8s, sold the Vado, tried getting Vado back, didn't work out. We sold McCann for a ton. We made a ton of stubs off McCann, a ton of stubs off Goldschmidt. We bought Chris Sale for 32K. So right now is definitely a good time to sell. And we also bought Hanley. Um, because I saw his sick price was really low. Let's see. He's at he's about the same price what I got him at. So not too bad. Didn't lose any stubs on him really. And really, if you guys just listen to me, you'll make a ton of stubs. Right now, I highly recommend investing in absolutely nothing. Um, honestly, I just really feel like something's going to go down soon. And you guys should just listen to me, take what I'm saying, and just put it in the back of your head. Something sketchy is going to happen very soon. And honestly, I want to check what they are dropping. Um, let's see if they're dropping anything crazy. So we got the roster update, the Cougs reveal flawless rewards yeah whatever so nothing too crazy really just trade deadline transactions and the new roster update so nothing too crazy this week but what they have not announced yet is what they're gonna drop friday which is very scary and also i want to talk to you about this honus wagner collection while we're here um since honus wagner collection is out a lot of these players will hold their value so since this collection came out a lot of players did go up but the problem is when they have that huge when those packs drop we're gonna have a giant giant crash just because people have went up so much because of the collection and i just recommend you sell now before anything crazy happens this is probably the highest you're gonna see the market in a really long time until they drop a stub sale which has not been confirmed over the last while so yeah and also, I'm noticing that if you want to do the next inning collection, Josh Donaldson is actually very cheap. So that's a good buy. Um, who else is in the collection? I don't even know. What do we have? Donaldson. I don't even know who else is in the... Let's check. Let's check. I haven't been on this game in a while. Um, but Josh Donaldson is definitely a good buy. Let's see. So the sixth inning, we got Donaldson. Oh, Lou Gehrig is not it. And the Gibson. So they're at 84k about they're all about 80k not a bad honestly I don't see them going down too much unless they drop packs if you want to buy them it's not a bad buy I kind of recommend it honestly if you're a big grinder it's kind of worth it um Lou Gehrig's at 83k wow so yeah it's not a bad buy now it's just I would wait till Friday everything is always on Friday I always say it enough in my videos just make sure to wait um, just listen to bugs definitely a hundred percent just sell your team and just buy investments go buy some Trey Turner's man the roster updates coming everybody's sleeping on Trey Turner which is kind of crazy in my opinion uh, Trey Turner he's at 1500 stubs he's playing very well right now I say he goes to 84 again definitely worked it I have 24 um, so yeah definitely worth the Trey Turner anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the vid um, just listen to what I'm saying Pull up to my streams, and that's all I got, guys. If you aren't following me on Twitter, if you're not following me on Twitch, Instagram, whatever, go drop the follow, baby. Bugs is grinding. We're posting two vids every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.